Yeah, look, I mean, it's always a great honor to represent uh, Iceland in the Champions League. Uh, I mean, in Europe, really, the rest of the league's freaking useless. But anyway, uh, you know, we uh, we go into every campaign hopeful that we can uh, we can compete. Um, now, that hope is usually gone after two or three games, but we think this season might be a little bit different. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 12, Episode 7 and today the Champions League starts proper. It is two away games, Shakhtar and Real Sociedad. If we can take four points from that, then I think we are very, very nicely set up to uh, to go and progress out of the league phase into the knockout rounds. Now, news since last episode is that we have completed the league title. We are 10 in a row and uh, we've done what Salty couldn't and no one's still getting anywhere near us. So that was all very nice. Uh, and the Kosh transfer has been completed. I didn't actually uh, ask it. I didn't actually... How do I put this? So what, what had happened is that we, we'd, we'd done the loan with an option to buy. We won the league and it's like that triggered the option. So, I mean, I wanted to sign him anyway, uh, but I've had my hands uh, forced here. So 10.5 million, which again, I think is, is a bit of a bargain for, for someone of that quality. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the fee. 17 grand a week is absolutely fine considering someone like Lars Degen is on 92 grand a week. That is up again, absolutely fine. So yeah, I'm glad it's done and was sort of in a way taken out of my hands. Now, in terms of our budgets for next season, we've got an initial budget. We're not getting as much money, which is fair enough because we couldn't spend 40 million again. We just aren't that sort of club, are we? So yeah, that's uh, gone down. Weight budget has stayed the same. So more or less, yeah, we can we can we can do what we need to do, but uh, there's not massive money there. Uh, for next season, but that's after way after this Champions League campaign. After we go on a glorious run to the final, uh, we'll have a lot more money to spend, won't we? Now there is two games in the league to catch you up on, so let's go and do that. The first one was against IA. Now this was in the middle of a international window. Now remember, it's not senior internationals that really hurt us; they do, but it's the youth internationals that also go out that really hurt our team selection. So it was a bit of a uh, who's that sort of team that we put out. Let's see how they did. Raul and Medina combined for Milosevic to put us ahead. So it was the one moment of quality in the game and we had to play Milosevic up front and uh, that was enough to get us across the line. There were some, some yeah, obviously Bacali played, we had to play him out left, which isn't ideal. Uh, Astadi had to go in and play at centre-back, did quite well. Uh, Nirozovic, now he was our Croatian that we signed. He had been away on leave because he was struggling to settle. Um, he came back and it was his first game back. So, I mean, it wasn't a shocking side, to be fair. Defensively, that was not that far off... Uh, what would be considered a first choice. Um, Centre-backs obviously weren't, but uh, yeah, overall, a, a very con controlling performance, let's call it that, but it definitely was uh, disjointed in attack. It didn't quite work as we would have hoped. Uh, the other game to catch you up on was against Grotta. Now, we only needed a draw to secure the league title with this one. Uh, obviously, we got that, and if you were eagle-eyed, you'd already know what the score is, but uh, let's go and see how the goals went in. Boutenson played in Bjornsson to give us the lead. But Grotta pulled level just after half time. Boutenson restored our advantage. And Julison picked out Gauterson to make it 3 1 with his first Grindavik goal. Before Seema got out four. So, I mean, it was never really in doubt. It was 1-1 uh, just after half time, which isn't great. But, uh, yeah, we powered through on from there. Uh, it was a rotated side because this game took place, I think it was two days before in-game where we are today with our trip to... Um to uh, Shakhtar, so obviously we didn't want to play any European players with the exception of the goalkeeper, but uh, yeah, did uh, did very, very nicely indeed here. Uh, now, one bit of uh, Seaman news is that he is officially now a Wonder Kid. Now, we've loaned Wonder Kids before. We haven't actually had any that, that we own, so yeah, that is, uh, that's a first, so very, very happy to have him, and yeah, he's uh, he's going to do well for us. We just need to uh, convince Boutenson to not be a first uh, key first team player anymore, we can give him some more game time, but uh, yeah, very, very good signing he's looking to be. And what do we what do we sign him for? It wasn't much, half a million, half a million for a wonder kid. There you go. That's how you do that, everybody. So the league table, 
There it is there. We are free, clear, and champions with a game in hand as well. Only dropped the one game so far, which is going to be disappointing if that's the only one that we do drop. Uh, but Breeder Blink, FH, and Poor are currently in the other European spots. Folgner and IA are right there. Uh, Vikinger and KR a little bit further back, and then there's a massive, massive split in the league to the last four battling against relegation. So, yeah, that is that. But we put domestic matters to one side. Now, we've won everything there is to win. We go to Europe. Europe, and we are facing Shakhtar Donetsk away from home first up. We're expecting a 4-2-3-1 out of them. And this is the team we're sending out. Puol in goal, Gia, uh, Giacchini, Majuros, Degen, and Volpez as the uh, back four. Conde, Raul, and Bakali, Milosevic, Beyonce, and Kruzliak are the front trio. Let's hope we can get off to a winning start. We need to. All right, so there's a few familiar names there. Leon King, uh, Queen of the South series, uh, Queen of the, uh, and uh, Possible Dream series. He was a, uh, a player that King to set, uh, King seemed to keep popping up. Dennis Sakaria is a real player, isn't he? Moises Keane is a real player. So there's a few there around. Igor Yesin, I think, is a... Well, Yeshin, I guess it is. I think he's a real player. Aleski Shinshinskin. I think it might be a real player as well. Uh, let's go out there. Let's impress me. Um, we, we've got to win this game. It is the pool uh, four or seeded four side. And uh, that, that's the one we need to win. So they've come out in a 4-4-2, which is a little bit different to what we were expecting. Uh, but shouldn't change things too much, I don't think. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is the best team we've had. I mean, every year we, it's the best team we've had. And we just need to we just need to get it done, don't we? Now I'm not sure what pool we are in. There's probably a way to find out, but I don't actually know. I'm assuming we would be a pool three side, or a, a sort of in the, the third uh, pot three, but not pool three. That would be my assumption, but I don't actually know. We might. Well, we're ranked fortieth, so we wouldn't be we wouldn't be any higher than the, the third pot. I wouldn't have thought. Um, but yeah, this is this is the one, isn't it? Away from home to the pot four. This is the make or break game, really. If we can win this, it puts us in a very, very good spot. If we don't, then it just makes life a little bit more difficult. And Real Sociedad, who we're playing, is the next away from home. Is the pot three side. Real to Bacali to Kruzliak. Kruzliak is in. Kruzliak has found the back of the net in the sixth minute. We're one nil up. And that is very, very nice indeed. Look at them celebrating in front of the traveling Grindavik fans. Viking, Viking clapping their way to glory, hopefully. Good ball from Milosevic. Kruzliak, a little bit of luck there, but uh, kept his run going. Bakali found him. And we go 1-0 to the good at the Donbass, <clears throat> excuse me, Donbass Arena. And, uh, yeah, well, that is, that is very, very nice indeed. Uh, the sort of consensus that I got from you uh, when we looked at the fixtures was that this is kind of agree with what I said it's about as friendly as we could arguably ask for and so we just need to make sure that uh, we're, we're taking advantage of it here we go with Beyonce to Kruzliak he turns nicely I'm not sure if Milosevic is on side if he is he scored the referee's going back and Milosevic has his 12th of the season it is 2-0 and that is a very very nice lead to have isn't it very very nice lead Beyonce did very very nicely Kruzliak turned held the ball up Milosevic held his run and then dinked the goalkeeper. Very, very good finish indeed. And it is 2-0. Now, can we go... Was it close to offside? It, oh, he's bent his run. Look at that. He's bent his run. And Lyons over there, who's the, what, he'll be the right back, has played him on. That's a really, really good, uh, good piece of uh, off-the-ball movement there from Milosevic. So we've not had much possession, which is unlike us. But we have got the goals. And that is ultimately what matters. They were a control possession side, so it's maybe not unexpected for them at home, especially to be uh, looking to control the ball. But it's what you do with it, isn't it? Here we go with Raul to Bakali. Kruzliak just couldn't quite get Beyonce in, but Milosevic has won it back. Milosevic is in. Milosevic, via the goalkeeper, has made it 3-0. And this is dreamland stuff in the 24th minute. It is Shakhtar Janiesk nil, Grindavik 3 and we're halfway through the first half. Lyons did well, but look at that. Milosevic read it like a book. And then, oh, it was the defender. It was via Shevchenko. It's gone in, but uh, already on target. So it'll be a Milosevic goal. And that is uh, that is very, very nice indeed. So we do, we're, top of the, we're top of the league. 
I don't know if you saw that just before it went away. We were top of the Champions League league table. Get your cameras out. Um, but yeah, this, we just need to... Oh, Napoli have gone ahead of us, bastards. So we just need to make sure that we uh, are keeping our heads here. Volpez with a nice little lunging tackle. Raul looking for and finding Beyonce. Beyonce, not a great touch, but Carly. It's still there for us. Cross again. It's headed away and it will be a corner. In first half stoppage time, if we'd gone in at 4-0, then I think we could have just, uh, well, just cracked the champagne at half time. But as it is, oh, Majoros was it, rising like a salmon. And uh, there we go, rising like a busted cliche, I suppose you could say. All right, so we do not want to get complacent here. We have done very well. We have a very nice lead. But we need to make sure that we keep our head screwed on here and that we, uh, if anything, Adam Ida. Uh, he plays for, I want to say, Reading or something, doesn't he? He's done himself well being the Champions League. Here we go, Milosevic on a hat-trick, of course. He's got Skata defenders all around him. And uh, cannot beat the goalkeeper from distance. Goalkeeper who's having a nightmare, apparently. All right, can we get... That should be easy for Puol. He's there. He has it. Where do we go from here? Take your time, mate. Launches it. It's not the best ball, if we're honest. And Shakhtar will come back the other way. Majoros is there. Clears it away. Rayul can't win the header. And we're just under a little bit of pressure here now. There's a ball forward. Giacchini's beaten in behind. Oh, a 3-1. And that is not what we needed early in the second half. Now, what has happened there? I'm not sure if uh, the goalkeeper got a hand to it or hit the post. If it's hit the post from there, it's a little bit unlucky. No, goalkeeper and... Uh, well, there we go. It is 3-1. And we just need to be a little bit careful here as we have a highlight. What we don't want to do is fall in a heap. And we've seen us away from home opening day of the uh, Champions League before fall in a heap. As Bakali lets that go. Now, we're playing at a higher tempo. Let's maybe lower that down given the state of the game. Um, I mean, goal difference could prove to be important. But ultimately, we want... We want the points, we want the money, we want the coefficient points. Uh, the goal difference, I'm not too concerned about. Giacchini gets it forward for Kruzliak. Back to Beyonce. Beyonce's heavy touch. Oh, he wins it back, though. He's done brilliantly there. Can he pick a teammate now? He goes back to... Oh, penalty! Surely a penalty. It's there for Giacchini. Has his go! And... Well, let's go back to the penalty, shall we, ref? Unbelievable that that's not being given, that foul on Bacali. Surely a tackle from behind in the box. Ball in, head up, save. It was Degen, I think. And, well, we have about half an hour to play. Next goal is huge, isn't it? Bakali. Here we go, Rayul getting forward to Kruzliak. Kruzliak, it's fair for Rayul. Oh, it was an absolute rocket off the foot. And he just, just grazed the post almost, it looked like. Let's give them some praise. We are still doing very well away from home here. There is no need for us to panic. Dagan's not having a great game. We do have Daphna and Unison on the bench, but time is ticking down here. And, well, another goal now would surely wrap it up for us. Here we go with Milosevic again. Milosevic crosses it in. Raul, it's headed away. It'll be picked up by Conde there to Dagan. Dagan, I'd really rather you just go back and defend at this point, mate. Volpez. Volpez. All the way back. That's fine. That's fine. That's the equivalent of going to the corner flag, isn't it, really? Here we go with Beyonce. Beyonce for Milosevic on a hat-trick! If he's onside, he's got it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a cracking goal if it stands. I'm not sure if he's onside. VAR is going to check. Kuzliak's got an injury, so we'll make a sub. We'll bring... Oh, it has been awarded! We will bring on uh, Seema to play up front with uh, Kuzliak's injury. But look at this. The Beyonce ball was wonderful. The volley... Oh, that is kosh. Yes, Keith scored the season last season. was very similar to that. And it is a wonderful strike. Now, how close was it? Oh, it is very, very close. Kruzliak is off. Milosevic, though, stayed on. That's a stunning strike. Absolutely glorious. 4-1. With uh, just over five to play. Seema wins it back straight away. Beyonce. Can Seema make an instant impression? Oh... Good clearance, you've got to say. Nicely done there. Rayul, though. Rayul has a go. Just over the top. But uh, this is done at this point, surely. Another attack for us. Volpez. 
Beyonce can't quite win it. Giacchini knocks it back down for him. Though Beyonce tries to bend one. And another highlight. We are absolutely dominating Shakhtar Dunyask right now. Seema back to Giacchini to Volpez. Volpez forward for Beyonce. And oh, it's not quite. I'm trying to think of Beyonce puns, but obviously I can't think of any other than say my name. But uh, it's ironic because his name isn't actually Beyonce. <laughs> that's offside. Surely, ref. Surely that's offside. Yeah, he's been pulled back. And, uh, well, we are third in the standings, it looks like. But we'll take that. Benfica has just beaten uh, Real Sociedad, I saw there. So, what a way to start the uh, the league phase. That is 4-1, wasn't it? 4-1 in the end against Shakhtar. So, there we go. Nosebleeds all around. We are sitting third in the table. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter at this point. Liverpool, 5-0 away to Bayern Munich. That sends shockwaves around Europe, doesn't it? Napoli, 4-0 away to Porto. And then you're looking at Grindavik. Absolutely smashing Shakhtar. So very, very nice. Happy with that. It's hard not to be. So we turn dominance into victory. The Kuzliak injury is just a bruised ankle. 2.4 million in the bank. A hat trick from Milosevic in that third goal. Absolutely stunning, wasn't it? Guys, wait right there. We go to Spain next. Real Sociedad. And could we do two from two? I said four points when I started the episode. I mean it. I'll take a draw now. All right, welcome back. We are getting ready to take on Real Sociedad. Oh, what a start this could be with a result here. Now, we have finished the league campaign. There were four games to go uh, after the Shakhtar game. So let's catch you up on the league, starting with the first game against Poor. Jonsson walked through the defense to give us the lead. Gautersen picked out Jonsson for our second. Before Joffersen's knockdown was finished by Gautersen to make it 3-0 at halftime. And Jonsson completed his hat trick. So, Galtensen, absolutely brilliant in this game. We'll have to have a look at him momentarily here. Uh, you may have noticed Galtensen had a bit of an injury, a bit of a knock. He's out for a month. I didn't realize it was quite so serious. Um, so, yeah, he had a bad game and uh, has taken himself out of action. So, that's not great. But everybody there generally played well. But Galtensen, absolutely running the show. He has come through the academy. Now, his potential ability has just dropped down. He was a three-and-a-half star potential ability. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's doing okay. There's a little bit of interest there from Sweden in him. And he's only 18, so we'll certainly give him a chance to keep impressing because he's definitely been doing that. Uh, next up, it was uh, one of the probably the toughest game we had remaining, and that was against Vikinger. Bjornsson crossed for Ormarsson to give us the lead. And Arneson made it 2 0. So a comfortable win. We dominated the game. They were they a little bit more than some teams do or most teams do against us domestically. Uh, but yeah, very, very comfortable. Now, Arneson, who got the second goal, came through the academy. You'll notice he is the latest gag to be capped. I meant to say that at the top of the episode. But yeah, so that's another one now that's uh, been capped internationally. So yeah, very, very nicely done indeed on that one. All right, next up, it was Vela. Conde played in Beyonce to give us the lead. Dagan made it 2-0. Before Bacali picked out Beyonce for our third before half time. Kruzliak made it 4 0. And then got on the end of Milosevic's cross for our fifth. Beyonce completed his hat trick. Before picking out Bacali for our seventh. So, I mean, they got off lightly with seven goals here, if I'm honest. Kruzliak was terrible in the first half, missed quite a few chances. 26 uh, shots at goal, 20, uh, sorry, 16 of them on target. Um, yeah, they, it really could have been double figures this one or another day. This was the European team. It was sort of the warm-up game a week before, uh, the sort of week ago in game this one was. So this was a good opportunity to get keep everybody match sharp, and they uh, certainly did perform. Final game of the league season was against, uh, I can't remember if they relegated or not, but they're certainly down there at IBB. Seema gave us the lead. And then got on the end of Jofferson's pass to make it 2-0. Mortensen crossed for Kosh to get out third. And Jofferson made it 4-0. Before Kosh got out fifth before half time. Arneson picked out Jofferson for 6-0. And Kosh crossed for Gautersen to make it 7-0. 
So a very nice way to finish off the league season. We had two goals disallowed in there as well. Kosh was brilliant. Uh, Jofferson wasn't bad either. Seema, our wonder kid, of course, up front, did a good job. And uh, yeah, just generally speaking, we played very, very well against what is ultimately uh, a poor team. Now, the final league table... We can see it there. So yeah, IBV did go down with Fram, which is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked uh, Grotta to go down. But anyway, 64 points of a possible 66, a plus 76 goal difference. Uh, it was all very, very comfortable, wasn't it? So that is that. Let's have a look at what we're doing here, though, against Real Sociedad. And uh, we're expecting a, what would you call that, a, a bus park, a 3-4 three i suppose if you're being generous to them this is the team we're sending out Puol in goal giacchini majuros degan and volpez is the back four it is a uh, conde Rayul and bacali in midfield milosevic beyonce and kruzliak will be the man up front all right so we can see the team sheets here do we recognize any names uh none is jumping out at me there there's a couple that might look familiar but um yeah uh now we're not going to put on or are we going to put on a worthy display? Media's been giving us credit lately. Let's put on a worthy display. All right, let's go with that. Uh, the expectation, which I don't get every game for whatever reason, but the expectation before the game was to draw fans and media. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can we can do just that. Um, now, a little bit of sad Gadini news. He's not going to become an Icelandic citizen because he had left the country before he got the paperwork. Uh, when I checked, I did check when the international call-up was happening to see if he got a call-up, uh, and he had 20 days, basically, to move back to Iceland. So even though he qualified in terms of being there long enough to be able to apply for citizenship, I think because he'd left, I don't know, it, it's, for whatever reason, he is not going to become Icelandic. So, yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but uh, doesn't, doesn't lessen what he did for us, does it? You think he'd be an honorary citizen just for, certainly he'd be an honorary Grindavik citizen, that's for sure. But anyway, that's uh, that's that's happened. So, yeah, Italy will have to call him up now, won't they? But here we go. We've got a highlight. Beyonce, a little bit of space there. Kuzliak for Rayul. Look at the run Milosevic is making. Milosevic is in here. Milosevic! Tell you what, it's a decent save from the goalkeeper, that. Could he have done better, though? Milosevic now to take the corner. Whips it in. It's headed away. And that will do it for that. We will tell them to be encouraged. And we will go on. Beyonce wins it back. Oh, just unable. Oh, here we go. Rayul's picked his pocket. Rayul has got Kruzliak with him. Rayul may not need Kruzliak. Rayul is not a good finisher. He has finishing of four last I checked. Um, yeah, so no surprise there perhaps that that didn't find its way to the back of the net. Uh, we are looking for the overlap, which is the obvious thing to do given that... Uh, you know, they only have wing backs out there. There's no one else. I do wonder if we want to actually maybe exploit the flanks as well. Um, might be something to look at doing a little bit later on. There's a good ball for Milosevic. Milosevic, Milosevic. Oh, it's kind of... Oh, it's found its way through. And is Kruzliak going to be offside? He probably is. It needed a little bit more, didn't it? Just... Uh, oh, it's countered. It's 1-0. It needed a little bit more, just, uh, what's the word, like, uh, decision. Just uh, assertiveness, perhaps. No, no, he is just on side. Everybody's tripped over each other. Kruzliak's come out the other side, and it's 1-0. So that is very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. And we are top of the Champions League again. Beyonce now. What can he do? Back to Giacchini. Conde to Real Space. Real. Oh. Decent effort, that one, wasn't it? Decent effort. Ball forward. And here come Real Sociedad with a little bit of uh, space that ideally they wouldn't have. Cross comes in. It is. Oh, is there anything to save us? I don't think there is. And it's 1-1 late in the first half. And... We had a guy with that similar sort of name somewhere once. He was really quick, a really quick winger. Dagan's got to do better, doesn't he? And Majuros has got to be helping him out a bit more. That wasn't wasn't brilliant defending, if we're honest, was it? But it is 1-1 at half time. We would take 1-1. Even if we have been the better side, we would take it. Uh, we will say uh, time for everyone to dig in. Unlucky. Let's go with unlucky. We were the better team there. Um... We've got faith in you to do a little bit better in the second half. And 
Yeah, I do wonder about exploiting the flanks, given how many how many players they have in the middle of the park. If we look to exploit the flanks, if that might work a little bit in our favour. You know, kind of get around the five-man block there and attack them in wide areas. Uh, how are we going for passing? I wonder if we want to lower the tempo as well. Let's see what we've got. We have seen before occasionally the second half of games were not always as good as we have been in the first half. The match is ticking by though. We've got a corner to defend. Degen again is not having a good game in Europe. Oh, we did not need that. That is not what we wanted. Bakali's not having a good game either. And what we will do is we will we'll push him forward. We've had so many chances, haven't we? All right, let's probably pause the game would probably be a helpful thing. And let's get our wonder kid on in place of Bakali. Uh, yeah, you go as a deep liar, but go on attack for me. Raul can be the advanced playmaker. And Conde in there, and that is all fine. And it was going so well until it wasn't. Okay, let's try demand more. And is it going to go suddenly very, very wrong here? Oh, Puol has just about kept it out. It was a very flappy. And here we go on the break now, potentially. Seema, Seema. This is a chance. Raul, get it wide. And we've got Seema and Kruzliak through the middle. It's Kruzliak. Kruzliak! Oh, Kruzliak has done it. It's 2-2. Excellent, excellent stuff. He has scored again. Milosevic and Kruzliak are just looking European dominant, aren't they? Through two games here. Volpez did well. Oh, that pass from uh, Milosevic. Perfectly timed and weighted. And it is 2-2. I wonder if we go off of attacking. Just go back to positive here. Let's try demanding more again. Can we dream of getting all three points here? Uh, XG would suggest we can. Milosevic, ball to the back post. It's a good header from Degen. And it is claimed by the goalkeeper. Come on. We're into stoppage time. We're into stoppage time. And we've got a highlight. Giacchini. To Conde Giacchini. Giacchini for Seema. Seema for Kruzliak. He might be offside. If he's not, he's missed it anyway. He'd gone round the goalkeeper and he'd missed it. A draw there is a good result. Especially having gone behind in the 74th minute. But we've come back brilliantly. We have got a point in Spain. And that is... I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at, is it? That's a, that's a very, very good result for us. And that Kruzliak chance, it probably should have been all three points, shouldn't it? It really should have. But anyway, uh, four points from two games, both of them away from home, is a brilliant start for us. It really, really is. So on as even at Estadio D and Notia, uh, we've got 800 grand in the bank. Kruzliak impresses with a double. Should have been a hat trick, if we're honest. And finances, are uh, they're building up again now nicely, aren't they? 19.5 million in the bank. 40 million uh, lost this season now, but that is, it's all trending in the right direction again. So that is excellent. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Uh, that was intense, I've got to say. <laughs> I think I need a rest. But we'll be back. Another two massive games. Juventus at home. They are a pot one side at home. If we could take a draw there, that'd be brilliant. If we could take a draw in Benfica. That'd be brilliant. Two points next episode, and we'll be very, very happy with that, won't we? Uh, best said, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time as we take on, hopefully, some more European giants and taking some scalps. Take care.